Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Today is Monday. Welcome back for another day of distance learning. Today we are going to do our morning message. We'll count the days. We'll talk about two new, two new sight words this week. And then we're going to talk about insects. We're going to talk about ladybugs today. So let's go ahead and get started. Are you ready? Here we go. April 13th, 2020. Good morning. Today is Monday. We must read our books. What book is your favorite? It will be a great day. I can and I will. Fuck Mrs. Forrester. Okay, we have two new words this week. One of them is this word right here. I'm going to give you a second because you could tap this out. You're right, this word is must. Everybody say it. Must. Everybody spell it. M-U-S-T, must. I must find the word must. Do you see must up there? Me too. We must read our books. Reading is so important and I hope that you are reading at home. However you can, whether it's on Epic, whether it's a picture book, however you're reading, I hope you're reading at home. Okay, our next new word is this word. And it's not really a word we can tap out. This word is R. Can you say R? Now, you might be thinking, uh, Mrs. Forster, you already gave us R? Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that. If you watched Mrs. Porter's PBIS, video she talked about there there and there and two two and two we have r and r we know this r right this talks about like what we're doing we are going to the store we are learning okay this one is r like it belongs to me we must read our books this is our dog okay so this is our new one o u r spell it with me O U R R. Say it. R. Good. Do you see R up there? Me too. At the end, we must read R books. And we will keep working on that throughout the week. Okay. We only have two words this week. It's pretty crazy. We're down, we just start talking about two. We normally talk about three. We're talking about two this week. Let's go ahead and review all of our fourth quarter words that we know so far. Ready? Ears on. R, R, O U R, R, new. Oops, they're stuck together. Must, must, M U S T, must. New, new, N E W, new, funny. Funny, F-U-N-N-Y, funny, ride, ride, R-I-D-E, ride, down, down, D-O-W-N, down, get, get, G-E-T, get, jump, jump, J-U-M-P, jump, she, she, S-H-E, she, will, will, <clears throat> W-I-L-L, will, find, Find, F-I-N-D, find, little, little, L-I-T-T-L-E, little, eat, eat, E-A-T, eat. Now, now, N-O-W, now. Is that a sight word? <laughs> All right, rhyme, er, 
Repeating ears off. Good work. Okay. Well, my next are punctuation marks. I stack all of them together without a paper clip, and that's not very helpful because then they get stuck together. So we'll jump into our punctuation mark. This one wanted you to say it already. It was ready to go. What is this? You're right. It's a question mark. Everybody say question mark. Do you see a question mark on my board? Mm-hmm. I asked you, what is your favorite? Or I'm sorry, I said, what book is your favorite? I was jumbling up that question. What book is your favorite? I've been shopping for new books, seeing what different books are out there. And right now I feel like I don't have a favorite. I really like the good egg and the bad seed. Those two are pretty fun. Alrighty, what's this guy called? Mm-hmm, he's a period. Do you see any periods up there today? Can't really see the bottom of the board today. That's okay. Yep, there are only two periods today. Today is Monday. We must read our books. Good. Okay, last punctuation mark that we talk about. What's this one called? You're right. It's an exclamation point. Say that one more time. Exclamation point. Good. Do you see it on the board? Mm -hmm. There are two exclamation points on the board. I'm not really going to be able to circle this one. Well, kind of. He's really close to the end of the board and you can't even see what my marker did. You kind of can. And then there's one right here. I can and I will. We always say that loud in the classroom, don't we? All right, we found all of our ex or we found all of our punctuation. Now let's keep it rolling. Okay. Yesterday, well not yesterday. Gosh, we were with each other on Thursday. We will not we were not with each other on Friday. We had that day off it's going the wrong way. Okay. How many days had we been in school on Friday? Let's count. We have 10. Or Thursday. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So on Thursday was our 18th day of distance learning. So if I take my single red pencil and put it with my group, that means that today is day, mm -hmm, day 19. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay? It goes right here in my ones bucket. I have one group of 10 and I have nothing in my hundreds bucket. How many more days if I have nine in my ones bucket or cup? How many days until I have another bundle? Remember we need 10 to make a bundle and I have nine. One more day, so that means tomorrow we will have our second bundle of pencils. Pretty exciting. Okay, before I forget, let's quickly do our rules. Ready? Rule one, follow directions quickly. Rule four, make smart choices. And rule five, make your dear teacher happy, whoever your dear teacher is at home. Okay, before we jump into reviewing our sounds, I wanted to tell you that today is Miss Porter's birthday. So if you have any way of wishing her a happy birthday, please do so. You might have to ask mom and dad for some help. Maybe they can send her a message. And if you can't, she'll totally understand. Maybe you could draw her a picture, write her a card, it's her birthday, send her some love. Even if you think about her, she'll know that you're thinking about her. So I texted her this morning and I said, happy birthday, miss you, and I hope you have a great day. So be sure to think about Miss Porter today as it's her birthday. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna review our sound. So ears on, W wind. R-er-rat. 
Z, Z, Zebra. Q, Q, Qua, Queen. V, V, Van. P, P, Pan. T, T, Top. N, N, Nut. S, S, Snake. F, F, Fun. K, K, Kite. D, D, Dog. J, J, Jug. G, G, Game. L, L, Lamp. H, H, Hat. M, M, Man. B, B, Bat. A, A, Apple. C, C, Cat. E, E, Ed. Y, Y, Yellow. O, A, Octopus. U, A, Up. I, E, Itch. X, X, Fox. Good. Go ahead and turn those rhyming ears off. I, a thought popped into my head while we were doing this. And if you make something for Miss Porter for her birthday, like if you draw her a picture, ask your adult at home if they can send that to me. They can send it to me via a reminder. They can email it to me and I can get it to Miss Porter that way. I think that would be the best way to do it. So if you draw Miss Porter a picture or if you write her a note, ask your adult at home if they can take a picture of it, send it to me, and then I'll get it to Miss Porter for you guys. Make sure to write your name so she knows who it's from. Okay. Let's see, we did our days, we did our morning message, we've got a new, our new sight word. So let me show you our mini lesson for today. Where did it go on my screen? There it is. Let me make it a little bit bigger. And it's not there. Hold on. Okay, there it is. Sorry about that. I had it ready to go and it decided not to be ready but that's okay. All right, so today we are talking about, or this week, we are talking about insects, and today we're gonna to talk about ladybugs. Now, Mrs. Forrester doesn't like ladybugs, but I think it's important to learn about them, and maybe I can kind of overcome my fear, because it kind of is a fear of ladybugs. And you might be thinking, Mrs. Forrester, how are you scared of ladybugs? They're so tiny, and they're so cute with their dots. No, when I was in high school, at Alton High, I was working on the set of a musical, okay? So a musical is a performance and the set is what they perform on. We are making this huge Pharaoh's head, okay? This giant head and it was made out of wood and to be able to paint it, I think, and make it a little safer because in this play they were going to be barefoot so we had to make sure the whole set was really safe for them and there was nothing poking we had to take we had to like paper mache it so we had to take strips of cloth dip it in glue and then put it over the edges so it would be easier for it to be painted and it would be safer well it was a spring day when the ladybugs come out and in the shop, it was like kind of hot and sticky and just, it was just gross, not gross back there, but it was just kind of hot. And so the ladybugs were loving it. They were back there. But what that meant is I was dipping cloth into glue and then sticking it onto something while the ladybugs are flying around. Uh-huh, you guessed it. Stick into my hands, stick into my arms, stick into the pharaoh's head. Ugh. It was so, so, so gross. I've never quite gotten over it. Every time I see a ladybug, I'm like, ugh, ugh, ugh. they give me the heebie-jeebies, but we're gonna work past it, right? We're gonna, we're gonna work past it. So we're learning about ladybugs today, even though Mrs. Forrester is kind of afraid of them. So thanks for listening to my story. Now let's get started. We're gonna read this, and then when we're done, 
you can take a couple of the facts, draw a picture of a ladybug, and then write about it, okay? You can do that at home. Okay, here we go. There are more than 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs. That's a lot of ladybugs. Did you know that they are not all ladies? Well, I mean, right, we kind of had to have known that, right? That's right, ladybugs are girls and boys. They eat mostly plants and aphids, which are really small, soft insects. Ladybugs will hibernate during the winter. So during the winter, we shouldn't see any. They come out during the spring when it gets warmer. They are mostly known for their bright red bodies and black spots. Other animals don't like to eat things that are black and red. So they're, the color they are helps protect them. Okay, let's read that one more time so you can lock some facts into your brain, okay? And if you don't remember some, you can re-watch this and listen to it again, okay? There are more than 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs. Did you know that they are not all ladies? That's right, some ladybugs are girls and boys. They eat mostly plants and aphids, which are really soft, small insects. Ladybugs will hibernate during the winter so hibernate means they sleep all winter. We don't see them. They come out during the spring when it gets warmer. They are most known for their bright red bodies and black spots. Other animals don't like to eat things that are black and red. Okay, so that is about your ladybugs. So that's about ladybugs. So. I hope that you got some ideas in your head to write about. You can draw your picture, ask someone to set a two minute timer, two and a half, maybe three minutes since we've got some extra time at home. Draw your picture of a ladybug, draw some girl ladybugs, some boy ladybugs. Maybe draw like a winter scene where there's no ladybugs and then a springy scene where there's lots of ladybugs and then write about it. Okay, I know you can create some really great sentences. You can practice tapping out your words. Remember, we don't ask the question, how do you spell? Mm -mm. We tap it out, what sounds do you hear? Using your sounds, right? Alrighty, well I hope you have a super great Monday. It's sunny outside, so it looks like it's a little windy. It was really windy last night. But hopefully you can get outside and play. I will see you tomorrow for our next morning meeting, and I hope you have a great day. See you later.